Okay, so we've made our purse net. Uh, it's a complete net, however it won't purse, it won't actually catch the rabbit unless we thread a cord onto it. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach a cord to the top end of the net, thread it through each of the outer loops, each of the outer meshes on the net, and then let the cord run through the bottom ring before you attach it to a peg. Uh, the purse net will then freely purse and catch the rabbit. Okay, the cord I'm using is white nylon braid and you need a piece just over twice the length of your net and for example if I'm making three foot six um, foot long nets I would need a piece of cord seven foot long which would be twice the length of the net plus about another foot on each end so I'm looking at approximately a nine foot length of this cord that I will cut and then melt the ends with a match just to stop them um, opening up. Okay so once you've folded your cord in half find the middle of your meshes on the top ring, push the loop through the back, through your ring and then pull both ends of the twine or of your, your, your cord through and pull it tight onto the top knot, just like that. Okay once the cord is attached at the top of the net Take your right hand or your left hand cord, pull out the net so that you can see all the meshes and thread the cord through the outside mesh. Okay. Pull the net out again to find the next mesh down and come back through the net. Okay. Pull it out and go back down through that mesh and then back through the next mesh down. So what we're doing is we're threading the cord in and out of each mesh down one side of the net to the end and then when we've done that side we simply start on the other side and go in and out making sure it's the outside mesh all the way down. When you get to the bottom of the net hopefully you can work it so that one of your, your, your ends of your cord is coming round the front of the ring and one is round the back of the ring. Okay, and then just thread each, each end through accordingly. Okay, so one's coming through one way and the other end is coming through the other way. Okay, then make sure that your ends are equal. And what we want to do now is we want to tie a knot in it somewhere about here so that the cords and the ring will never actually come off the end of the net and that the peg also won't go through the ring once the peg's on. Okay, and we just tie a simple overhand knot. Okay, and what that means now is that the peg will never be able to go through that ring and come off the net.